If you game on aging hardware and you like to know what all the different settings in the NVIDIA control panel do, then I think it's time for you to A, subscribe to the channel and B, smash that like button. Because in today's video, I'll be testing out OpenGL GDI compatibility and what all the different variations do to performance. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right guys, as mentioned in the intro of this video, I'll be testing out a setting in the NVIDIA control panel, namely under manage 3D settings, a setting here, open GL GDR compatibility. Now you have three options, you got auto, preferred performance and preferred compatibility. So that's what I'll be testing today. Um, guys, I have done this video previously in the past. Somebody mentioned to me that OpenGL is not something used in games anymore. I don't care about that. I see things in the NVIDIA control panel. I like to compare it and see what performance or what relationship it has to performance when you set different settings. So that's what I'm doing today. So before we get started or before we get to my results, I'll ask you to head on over to my homepage. If you are subscribed to my channel, please just make certain that you have the notification icon selected so that when I do drop a new video, you are notified. It really will help me with the algorithm. And then to those of you that aren't subscribed, if you enjoyed this video, enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing at the end of the video and then actually selecting the notification icon as well. But at that, let's get to my results. So guys, um, I did say I'm going to be testing the uh, GDI compatibility in the NVIDIA control panel. Before I get to that, all my games are tested at medium settings with the exception of the newer titles from 2023. I do test on a GTX 1650 laptop, so it's quite, the, the newer titles are quite heavy on, on that card. So the, all the newer titles are generally on low. Um, Dead Island 2 is on medium, it's well optimized. Ratchet and Clank is on a mixture of low and lowest. Remnant 2 is on low. Uh, uh, Dead Space Remake is on low and then uh, Hogwarts Legacy is on low. Everything else is tested at medium, and then where FSR 2.0 or 2.1 is available, I use the quality slide, as quality setting, and then you'll see from my, uh, the games I tested, these are all single player games. I find testing on uh, multiplayer online games, the data isn't as reliable, so it's just a lot more convenient to test on single player games. And then as mentioned, I am testing on a GTX 1650 laptop. I do suspect for RTX cards or for more powerful systems, these uh, small little tweaks in the video control panel will be almost negligible. But the GTX 1650 is an aging card, so therefore I'm looking for any bit of performance I can get. And then lastly, for no apparent reason other than I did a, a, a a Starfield comparison and I used the NVIDIA driver 537.13 that's the driver I used for this test it's not a driver I recommend but it's just convenient for me at the time so guys uh, GDI compatibility the first setting auto when I add up over 13 games the average FPS my total average FPS is 888 I do the same thing for the 1% lows add up all the 1% lows and my total 1% lows was 616 when I change that setting and I restart my computer to prefer, prefer, prefer performance, when I add up the average FPSs over those 13 games, my total average FPS is 897. So you can see there's quite a bit of an upliftment there. And then I do the same thing with the 1% lows, add up all the 1% lows, and my total 1% lows over 13 games was 624. And then lastly, the last setting, prefer compatibility, add up all the average FPS's and then my total FPS or average FPS is 894 over the 13 games. Then I add up all the 1% lows and my 1% low total for over those 13 games is 615. So guys, you can clearly see from my benchmarking and from my test results, irrespective of whether or not games are done in OpenGL anymore, that preferred performance gives you more performance. It gives you higher average FPS and more importantly, it gives you higher 1% lows. So you're gonna experience less chop in your game and it's gonna have less start and it's just gonna be a lot smoother. So guys, if you want my recommendation, in the NVIDIA control panel, 
if you haven't already got the setting set to preferred performance, manage 3D settings, find OpenGL GDR compatibility, and then I finish my benchmark on preferred compatibility, but just go preferred performance, apply, restart your computer, and then your average FPS and your average 1% lows will be slightly better. And that's it for today's video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And for those of you that are still watching, but you haven't subscribed as of yet, now's the time to do so. It's the start of a new week. Have an awesome one. It's people like you. Cheers. Mm -hmm.